Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Leah. I am a portrait photographer here in Ohio. And today I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I like to bring in my detail box for my flat lay images. I love the simplicity of a beautiful flat lay, showcasing your invitations, your rings, all of those different little details on your day. I feel like if you're a wedding photographer, details are either just super stressful and something you don't love to do, or they are one of your favorite parts you look forward to on the day of. For me, they are one of my favorite parts of the day I love just being able to sit down and be creative and just start putting things everywhere imagining out the images now there are some things that I love to bring with me to help enhance those images a little bit that is what I wanted to show you guys today now there is no problem with not bringing anything to a wedding day for detail flat lays. if there's something that's not really important to your brand or to the client then it is totally fine to honestly skip those however they are a really fun extra to add in for your couple I think bringing some extra things along just in case they might not have stuff is a really great great way to ensure to get some really great flat lay images. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I bring in my wedding detail box. I have all of my stuff here in this Victoria's Secret box. I personally like my couple having their invitation, their save the date, kind of any paper things they have, the more the better. Even if we're not going to use all of the different things they give us, I still like to have it to have it as options. Okay, so starting off with the first thing that I have at the top of my box, I have some ribbon. Now I have just neutral colors in this one so that I just make sure that it could match anyone's wedding day colors. I really love a light look, so I always bring some kind of natural pearlescent color probably two and a half three feet long of ribbon just so that I can if they have a lot of details they want to showcase I have enough ribbon to be able to kind of layer that throughout the piece I think it is a really nice touch to be able to add into your couple's photos in addition to the two pearlescent ribbons that I have I also have a bunch of ribbons on these wooden spools I really love the look of like the scissors and the stamps in your wedding detail flat lay photos and I think spools of ribbon look really really cute so I have a couple different colors in here I do have this like orange terracotta one I have this really beautiful blush light pink I have a really nice just kind of light beige color and then I have this kind of deeper darker auburn brown now all four of these did come in a pack of ribbon that I got off of Amazon and then I went to Michaels and they had a package of spools that you could get wooden spools just kind of wrapped the ribbon around each spool and kind of made my own. It was very affordable, super cheap. You can buy the ribbon on Amazon for really low prices and get some really cute colors. I do have a couple more different ribbons. I have these thicker spools as well. Um, they are a little bit bigger and fatter and I think these are what normally people go for They have that very antique look to them obviously for rustic wedding vibes I think that can work really well another of that kind of light beige color I have a white which is super helpful and I also have kind of another yellow beige tone I definitely have a lot of ribbon options It's nice to have multiple kinds. Yeah, that was kind of just my starting base I wanted to have for my detail kit and I really have enjoyed using those the next one is actually something that my my mom thought of which I thought was so cute but I do also have in here a set of Scrabble tiles before the wedding days I'll just go ahead and put their name of the couple in a separate bag and then have these as an extra in case I want to spell out anything like their last name especially if they're going for more of like a woodsy rustic look this is a super cute one that I think is super affordable you can find these honestly in thrift stores nowadays just throw them in there you never know when you might want to use them <laughs> next up I think this one is honestly one of the most important ones that you could get and and that would be a ring box. To your couples, they are probably going to have their own set of ring boxes that they are keeping the rings in before you arrive. In case they don't have any kind of like nicer ring boxes that would look great for details, I do just have one that I got on Amazon. They're very cheap. Um, and I just decided to get a neutral one to start with. It's one of the octagon ones. Um, I love this thing. It's perfect just to be able to keep in your kit in case they don't have a box that you like that doesn't fit the vibe of the detail photos. So you can get these super cheap. They have tons of different colors on Amazon. Some couples will get these on their own and maybe engrave them, personalize them. There's so many different things you can do. Just having this as a backup just in case you feel like you're not liking the box you see is a really good way to do that. Next up, I about never use this, but I throw it in there just in case that I can't get a hold of florals in the meantime or greenery. I do have a little bit of greenery in here. I have this lamb's ear. It's fake. Just keep this in here just in case that couple maybe doesn't know if they can get the florals in time. Maybe we're not at the place that they're having their reception and the florals aren't there. Whatever the case may be, I do just like having a little bit of extra florals in my box just in case they do want that in their photos and they don't have any. 
Next up are these really cute little wedding plates that I have. I found them at the thrift store. I was looking for something that I could put the rings in sometimes instead of the ring box because I know that's such a classic look, but I also like to change it up sometimes. On this really cute little plate from the thrift store, it was literally 50 cents. Perfect for holding all three of those rings inside. I really do like the look of this. But with that one, I also have this black one as well in case they're looking for more of a modern vibe. Or maybe the groom's jewelry on this or something, their watch. So this works perfect. Great little investments if you are wanting to up your game. Okay, next up, this one is something I really love. I have always been such a huge fan of wax seals and anything to do with like stationary stuff. I have a bunch of colors here that I just spent one day just making all of these and I think they're such a fun little way to add some more of that stationary look into detail flat lace. I have a bunch of gold right now. I just keep in this little jewelry bag and have those ready for the day as well. Next up, I do keep these in my photo bag as well, but I do have some safety pins in here, some boutonniere pins in here as well. Um, I don't know why either in my detail box case. I have two more things and then we are done, so thank you for sticking along. The next one is literally just a white piece of paper. Um, I will put her name down below here if I can find the video I watched. Sometimes when you wanna put the rings on an invitation, and this is honestly if you really like the white airy look, don't have enough space on the invitation, maybe their names on the invitation are like at the bottom, the floor is showing or something. They mentioned that you should just bring a piece of paper that you can just stick underneath of it. And I was like, that's so smart. It's so simple. Definitely something I keep in my kit as well now. All right, the last thing that I keep in here that I honestly really don't use unless the couple is really adamant about specifics in their photos is some envelopes in here. I was in my stationary phase and I have a bunch of these cute little just long envelopes. Obviously simplicity is key in making sure you have everything kind of working together on all sides of the image. I just like having those in there in case I want to play around with those as well. All right, friends, that was a lot of stuff in my detail kit. I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, not all of this is for everyone, not for every bride. Some brides never even want to use sale photos. It just depends on your brand and what you're trying to accomplish for your clients. I think this can just be a way to have some backups and little enhancements here and there to really make your detail photos stand out. All right, guys, that is what is in my detail flat lay box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Comment down below what you would love to put in your flat lay box or what your favorite thing you saw here was. Of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We are super close to 800 subscribers, which is crazy, but so exciting. Thank you so much for being super supportive. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye!